What's up you guys Jason Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to show you the top three Facebook ads for real estate agents that we have seen amazing results with So we've seen leads for one to three dollars per lead on average with these three Facebook ads I'm going to be showing you guys and over the past year we've generated over 35,000 real estate leads working with over 3,000 real estate agents so Kind of like we, we've got a lot of experience and we know what works and we know what doesn't work So I want to show you guys these top three ads and I'm gonna show you guys the ad copy So like the actual text to use in the ads I'm gonna show you the images or videos or what to use on each one of these different ads But as far as going through and setting up the ad that's a different skill set But I've got several other training videos on that um, So actually if you guys want my Facebook ads mini course that I put together for you guys just thumbs up this video Comment down below and I will share that with everyone who comments down below All right. So anyway guys, let's just dive in here and I'll we'll start showing you the first Facebook ad That has worked amazingly well and I'll kind of break down why it's worked well and how you can implement it into your business Right, so this first one is if you have a listing in your business now I know not everyone has listings in their business, you know if you're a new agent just getting started but if someone else in your office has a listing that they're gonna allow you to go through and market and promote and make sure you guys get their permission first Don't just go through and market it make sure you get their permission and then go and run this ad right here So you can see right here You've got some emojis which actually studies show that emojis increase the amount of people that are gonna actually read and pay attention to your ad Just because it makes it a little more fun as opposed to just having text and then you can see we've even got some hashtags however guys I've seen some realtors go through and do this and they kind of overdo it They're like way too many emojis way too many hashtags and it just like looks like a bunch of spam Okay, so you can see this this is still kept clean It's still kept, you know very very nice looking but while still drawing attention so you can see right here Pre-listed see it before it hits the market four beds three baths So we're gonna like give a quick preview of what this home is what this listing is all about then go here to get price location plus more picks So some people are gonna see that they're gonna see the images of the home and they're gonna be ready to take action right away So we want to have that call to action where they can go through they don't have to read the rest of this information Okay, they can just click there go out to the landing page and then we you know rare opportunity and this it doesn't have to say pre-listed Right, they could say a number of different things, but that's just an idea That's just an option that you can go through and use because not all of your listings are gonna be pre-listed, right? So just keep that in mind and then what we'll do here is we spend the next two paragraphs Going through and highlighting the different key points of the listing Okay, and I like to hit like more of the sexier things So like if it's got vaulted ceilings if it's got stainless steel appliances if it's got a two or three car garage a pool Whatever is gonna really go through and draw attention for your ideal client You want to throw that in there and then obviously you want to finish it off with once again another call to action right here out to the landing page Okay, the reason why is because even if you have it up here Lots of times what people do especially if they're on desktop They're gonna go through and they're gonna kind of read with their mouse, right? So as they're reading with their mouse like this you're seeing right here They're gonna come down here and it sounds funny It sounds crazy But a lot of times people are just too lazy to go back up or if they're scrolling on their mobile phone They're scrolling through and they read it and then like th their brain doesn't think to go back up to go click that link up there Okay, so now if we look at the actual ad creative okay the images the videos whatever we use here You can see this one has just one image what I like to do sometimes so like let's say you have 25 photos of the home that you're gonna go through and market Okay, I usually like to take about half of those this one's just kind of like a little demo example I put together for you guys, but I like you to usually take about 10 to 12 of those photos throw them in the post so they can get a little bit better idea of what the home actually looks like Right, so like, you know, they can see this but they don't know they have no idea what the inside looks like It could have been completely remodeled which this home was Okay, they don't know what the backyard looks like which could be like the coolest backyard in the world or it could be a perfect fit for them All right, so you want to go through and, and add a few more teaser photos and then having the opt-in Okay, the call to action being hey Get the price the address plus more pictures. So that's what you're holding back So to get them to put in their name phone number and email address on the landing page and opt-in so that you can actually Generate a lead and follow up with them a number of ways now and we can follow up with them via email text message phone calls And uh, there's some cool things that we can do even with Facebook messenger, All right. So anyway, this is the first one So if you guys have questions on this first one right here 
go ahead drop a comment below I respond and I read every single one of the comments so uh, make sure you drop below right so this one is for a listing ad all right now if we come in here and we take a look at this this one is for a buyer lead generation okay so if you're a real estate agent right and you don't have listings but you're still wanting to work with buyers this one has worked and performed amazingly well right now this one's gonna be a little bit higher cost per lead I've seen about three to five dollars per lead on average when set up correctly all right now people sometimes will take my my ads and stuff and they'll be like oh it didn't work well there's sometimes some little simple tweaks on the back end on the ads manager and that's why if you guys want my Facebook ads mini course you gotta comment down below so I can share that with you which I'll walk through the whole Facebook ads manager I'll walk through how to set up the Facebook pixel the Facebook lead form all those different pieces to help you guys get it set up correctly all right so if we look at this the first thing that we want to do okay is we want to call out our ideal client okay so we're saying hey attention Dallas attention Orlando attention Salt Lake City whatever the city is right do you know anyone to looking to buy a home and you could even say right here are you or do you know anyone looking to buy a home so it's like calling them out specifically okay are you looking to buy a home okay and they're like yes or no okay and then they can like if it's no they can keep scrolling okay or do you know anyone right because like that's like a nice little referral right there follow here okay so we've got that call to action early on and then hey we've compiled a free report of homes for sale under three hundred thousand under five hundred thousand whatever the number is of like whatever your go-to market is right sometimes people like the low end sometimes the middle sometimes like the luxury so whatever your markets really in and then um, follow here once again you've got a link a call to action and they say thanks and your name just kind of personalize it right and really quick guys all of these ads you want to be running from your own Facebook page so you want to have a profile picture right there of you okay not your dog not anything else of you your face kind of like a little head profile shot like I've got right here okay and then your name okay not your company's name not your business name your name and you can see even say like for example I would say like Jason Wardrop you know Park City Realty or Salt Lake City Realty or something like that right so then what I like to do is go and throw in maybe three different homes in your area okay now if I'm in Phoenix Phoenix homes don't really look too much like this right so it's not gonna really be synergistic with that market but you want to go through and find three homes maybe that are for sale in that area under the three hundred thousand dollar range okay because you want to match that you don't want to go through and say hey these homes are 300 under three hundred thousand and then you've got like several million dollar homes right because that's just kind of it's not targeting the ideal client that you're really looking for and really going for okay so that's where I like to kind of do like give a, an idea of some different options maybe three to five little photos right here that can kind of scroll through see some of the different options of homes that are in that market because then once they opt in Give you their name phone number and email address you can follow up with them and say hey I've got some other homes I've got this other list of homes um, that, that you can go through and see and then I can go take you around and show you that we can like see what is the best fit for you all right so once again guys any question on this Facebook ad drop a comment below I will read and respond to every single one of your comments and then the last one okay this one is for an open house all right so very very similar to these other ones um, you know obviously if you got a listing this is kind of like an open house go pre promote this I like to go through and if you have an open house let's say on Saturday or Sunday I like to start at least five days before the open house to go through and promote this okay because then you get some time to get some traction and sometimes Facebook's algorithm takes a little bit of time to kind of like adjust to show it to the ideal target market the ideal audience so it's sometimes nice to go through maybe five to six maybe even seven days I probably want to go beyond seven days because then people kind of start to forget that there even was a, a, a open house so about five to seven days before it starts so you can see right here we've got the emojis we're making it fun okay open house this Friday at 6 p.m. or whatever day it is and then give the address right so they can go through save it right there in their phone okay get the video walkthrough and e-brochure here now guys you don't have to have a video walkthrough you don't have to have a e-brochure or anything like that you could do the same thing like back here on this listing presentation which says hey get the get more pictures of this property or get this or get that 
just giving them more information on that specific location is going to help out a ton. All right, and then once again, I kind of like to go hit some of the top key sexier features of this property, right? So like four beds, three baths, you know, walk-in pantry, uh, sub-zero refrigerator and freezer, some things that are going to get people excited to go through and see the property. And then once again, you can say, hey, get the video walkthrough e-brochure here or whatever you're going to be offering once again with the address. And then right here, guys, you can use a video walkthrough of the property. Okay, so I know some properties have like little 90-second segments. And that's a cool thing if you're working with a new build community lots of times the builder They're gonna go pay the money to go have those videos Professionally created we're gonna have like the professional photos taken and all that So that's another amazing thing to do is go work with builders team up partner and become one of those agents And start promoting those different listings. All right So now what I would do is probably throw in a video here or I throw in you know once again I probably throw in five to ten photos here just so they can get a better idea of what the property what it looks like and get more excited about going up going to and showing up to your open house right now guys really quick I want to hit three um, actually two key things here with these Facebook ads what you want to do is you want to be promoting them obviously to you know everyone in your market right like if you're in Dallas Dallas within like a 10 mile radius but make sure you're also promoting them to your warm market, to your warm audience. Okay, so anyone's visited your website, anyone that's on your email list, um, anyone that's really connected with you and your business in the past or likes your Facebook page, because you're gonna see amazing, you're gonna see a lot better results with those people as opposed to a completely cold market, right? And I cover all that in the Facebook ads mini course. So make sure you guys comment down below if you guys want the Facebook ads mini course. So I can get that over to you to help you guys get started with your Facebook advertising All right, so anyway guys, hopefully this video was helpful breaking down some of these top three Facebook ads Maybe in a later video. We'll hit a few more ads that you can go through and use for your real estate business But this is a solid start wherever you might be if you're brand new if you're a seasoned veteran If you're just kind of like getting the hang of getting getting used to Facebook advertising and lead generation This will give you that quick jump start to everything that you need to go do and be successful right so if you found this video helpful go ahead give it a thumbs up drop a comment below if you guys want the Facebook ads mini course and if you guys have any other questions on any of these ads I can go through and answer those questions for you guys and also if you guys are brand new here to the channel my name is Jason Wardrop and I launch a video um, about three times a week on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and with that said I will see you guys later